always hold a special place in our heart. Driving up Little Cottonwood, you look on either side of the valley and you see beautiful blank granite walls. Beneath them, dense pine forest and being out in the middle of that, it really gives you these moments of peace in nature, which is very appreciated, you know, living in the city. Absolutely fascinating movie. I, um, there's a lot of first time knowledge for me in this one. You know, I, um, I'd always been in awe of, of rock climbers like this and um, the absolute strength and concentration and endurance they have. Um, I just didn't know much about it. So to be able to see all this wonderful close-up footage of these world-class climbers and uh, hearing everything explained about how climbing is a, uh, you know, a thought process and how it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a problem-solving process, you know. Um, it's art, you know, that's what art is. And so this, you know, we, I learned a little about the art of uh, rock climbing here and uh, you know, it, was, it was really, really interesting. Now, I, I, I hope their efforts go well here. You know, it, it's sad to see that this, uh, this trouble they're having with UDOT, with widening roads and whatnot, is, um, you know, going to impact the climbing environment and just, you know, it's going to impact in nature. And, you know, development impacting nature in a negative way is always, is always hard. Um, but seeing specifically wrecking, you know, you know um, treasures of this climbing community is difficult to see. So I hope that the efforts go well for them, you know, because, you know, I want to I want to keep being able to see them. Uh, I want to know they're out there doing this still. I don't want their environment disrupted, you know, any more than I want just natural beauty to be destroyed by de uh, by uh, development. So I hope they're able to find other ways like they, they, they say at the end that, that there was a uh, a less impactful measures that can be found, such as they, they had a bus uh, program that they started. So I hope there's more of that kind of development that happens, low impact. But um, this is really well done. You know, everybody on screen was amazing. Um, the, the climbers, everybody being interviewed was very interesting. Um, everything was put together, directed and edited very nicely. Um, the footage was gorgeous and amazing. Um, wonderful score, beautiful music. Um, and a great message overall. So, um, yeah, I wish this team best of luck. I hope this gets out there and gets seen because it's really Jack important. teaches us so much about professional climbing, uh, a sport that is not often given the recognition that it perhaps deserves, considering the time, effort, and dedication put into it by so many. Um, it is nice to see that it is, like, olympically represented, but still, in the larger hand of society, um, it is something it seems like it should be uh, a bit, I don't know, more pronounced. Um, and we see that uh, societal infrastructure changes are impacting these areas in which, uh, you know, climbers enjoy climbing and that nature kind of almost intended them themselves to climb. So we have this interesting argument about, you know, what should be better served kind of nature itself or the uh, infrastructural requirements of the society that surrounds the land, then it's a difficult, um, not easy debate. Um, but so much of that discourse is not really explored here. Instead, what is, is um, the appreciation of the land, why it's done so much good already, which kind of itself bears the question of why should it change? It's a really great job of combining um, a look at sports and its role in people's lives, climbing in this case, and also at the landscape that lends itself to the sport and how they kind of need each other. Um, the sport of climbing helping people to appreciate the natural crags that exist around Salt Lake City, um, and then just like the beauty of the nature for those climbing it or walking through it or hiking or driving. Um, and I thought that worked really well in terms of um, how the story was told. Uh, this was just an incredible love letter to the environment through the cin cinematography. The aerial shots sweeping over the landscape and those majestic climbing structures, essentially, uh, immediately made me understand how important um, this landscape is and uh, to to the climbers through the intricacies, through the vastness, through the isolation and just the this that uniqueness of nature where it feels like you're you're connecting to something grounded and real and it, it made me want to dive in and tackle climbing as well I've gone once but this kind of reignited that feeling in me 
Um, it made an excellent case for how the landscape changes of the gondolas and the highway widening projects would change the area forever and really eradicate something quite special to a pretty prominent community that's um, making strides on, on the world stage. So I hope this film acts as a catalyst um, to help bring awareness and prevent them uh, from building on this pretty important climbing, bouldering place. And uh, yeah, I thought it was also beautifully shot. So multifunctional, you can have some really glorious filmmaking and also tell a, a very strong message. A very uh, effective uh, short documentary film. Um, the way it was shot and uh, the way um, the uh, subject was introduced and the, 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 um, those beautiful drone shots and uh, the way the, uh, the whole thing was constructed, it uh, just made me want to go out there and be in that uh, canyon. So uh, I think that's uh, an important um, effect you can have on a short uh, film like this to uh, get people um, aware of uh, the uh, situation with the, this um, um, tug of war that we too often seem to have between uh, conserving uh, the beauty of nature and uh, and uh, caving to um, it's the short-sighted people that just want to build more highways. Uh, we have a similar thing going on up here and um, uh, all too often the um, highways seem to win out. Um, I hope that uh, this uh, film helps um, spread the word and uh, protect your canyon because it's just gorgeous and uh, now that I've seen it and experienced it through this film uh, I'm going to see if I can find a way to get down there and do a little bit of um, a bouldering uh, um, myself. Okay, um, great film, uh, great uh, subject matter, and I uh, wish you guys... Someone who doesn't know much about bouldering, I thought what was really nice about Homecrag was how accessible it was. Not only does it follow the story or the sort of experience in bouldering of this one climber, Nathaniel, but it also goes into an organization that he's a part of or a community of climbers that he's a part of that are trying to save um, the natural granite landscape of these crags from development. Um, and I think not only did it have a really powerful environmental message, but it also uh, was very inspiring. My favorite part was definitely um, any time the camera hovered on Nathaniel as he climbed, how uh, meditative an experience it was to watch an athlete solo climb, just enjoying himself and living in the moment that he's in. Um, even though I don't know anything about the sport that he's participating in, I totally related to his experience and it felt like an artistic Thing, which was really, really cool. But it also taught me a lot about um, the environmental issues that are surrounding these areas and how not only does it affect the um, experience of these athletes, but it can also affect the economy of the area and, of course, permanently change the natural landscape of these areas. So it was really neat to see athletes um, who are focused on um, environmentalism as well as their, you know, passion. Gives a very powerful message also a cautionary tale about how convenience can negatively impact the environment um the biggest thing that the biggest thing that home craig is trying to convince us in this short documentary is not only the fact that uh Terraforming this land not only takes away from those who are excited about uh, rock climbing, it takes away from the natural beauty of the place, which I think the film also does a really good job of showing us just how grand <laughs> it all is. Uh, uh, the, the views were very breathtaking, but... Uh, 
more importantly, the biggest argument that terraforming would have is uh, how bad things get in the winter. Um, but it also provides the argument about how, while we don't have the answers, it's not worth destroying so much for one season um which is a very it's a very interesting argument um and i would i would love to see alternatives to um this problem